basketball coach over down in the country. He's been uh, successful. I've been pretty fortunate to coach some really, really good players. Uh, I also run my own basketball skills training business and basketball strength training business. Uh, it's called Elite Basketball Training. Uh, I also have a website, www.richdonor.com. Tons of information on there. So you guys can check that out. I'm going to talk to you about two things today. One's going to be goal setting. All right, that'll give you a little bit of break to get your breath. And then I'm going to put you through a little bit of a workout. All right. All right, goal setting. Right, goal setting is a pretty important thing, guys. Uh, if you don't know where you're going, you're pretty much not going to get there. All right. If you don't have a direction, okay, you're going to end up driving around forever, right? So the same thing goes for what you want to be in life. You want to set some goals. All right. How many times, how many people out there have said to yourself, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to work on my jumper today. And then you found a reason not to. How many people have said, I'm going to work on my jump shot today, but i got to go play video games. Uh, I'm going to work on my ball handling today, but I already worked on my jumper. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to go do some push-ups. Oh, wait, I like that TV show. I'm not going to do it. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I, look, I've been there too. I've definitely been there too. All right, it's an easy, it's an easy thing to do. All right, the good thing is, the good thing is that you guys are here today. All right, so that's a good start. And there was somebody who's probably really smart once said, "Well, 80% of success is showing up," and, and that's kind of true. You heard that? Did we hear that? 80% of sex, success is showing up. Oops. Slip up. All right. <laughs> But that's kind of true and kind of not true. You can show up and you can, you can go through all these great drills today, you can get all this great information, and then you can go home and do absolutely nothing. And your 80% is just useless. You have to go home and take all this stuff, all this information, all these drills, and practice them. All right? And implement them into your life. And then you're going to be successful. First thing I want you to do is today when you leave, I want you to go home and set some goals for yourself. All right? I want to improve my jump shot. I want to improve my ball handling. I want to make my middle school team. I want to make the high school team. I want to play college ball. Set goals for yourself. All right. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to write those goals down. Because the mind's a funny thing. All right? You can say, I want to do this. And the mind will figure out a way to convince you not to do it. But if you put them on paper, and then you take that paper, you write about five or six pieces of paper, I want to improve my jumper, and you put it on your desk, and you put it in your locker at school, you put it on your refrigerator. It's there, it's every single place you look at. Right? It's a constant reminder for you to say, you know what, I'm going to improve my jumper. I'm going to improve my ball handling. And the last thing, right? you want to set goals that are reachable, obviously, because if you continuously fail and fail and fail, you're going to get discouraged. You definitely want to set goals that are reachable. But you also want to set goals that are pretty high. You want to aim very high. All right? I found that, I found that people, people, fa people don't fail because they aim too high and miss. People fail because they aim too low and made it. All right? Makes sense, right? People don't fail because they aim too high and miss. They fail because they aim too low and made it. So give yourself a challenge along with some of the little goals that you have. Quick recap. Set goals. Write them down as a constant reminder. Make some attainable goals and make some goals that are, that are kind of a reach for you. Alright, challenge yourself. Second thing I'm going to talk about.